Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, there is a new technology out where if somebody, like, somebody hits you up and you're not available, it, it, AI auto generates your voice. And when it will, like, it calls them instead of texting them, and it's your voice. And it tells like a pre recorded message or something like that. No. And like and, and everyone's like, Oh, that sounds dangerous because like deep yeah. fakes without video, immediately, right? Immediately immediately foreboding. Okay. Immediately. Right. And it did say that like that is not the intention. Yeah, whatever. Of course, just like anything else. Yeah. And it whatever. does at the beginning say, This is an AI generated thing, this isn't the actual person. But like this sounds like the worst idea in the hu- history of humanity. It's a bad idea. Yeah, that'd be like all of your Alexa stuff. Like they're just like, oh, we're just gonna piece it together. So, Saturday. oh no, <laughs> yeah, she, she goes. But yeah, it's I don't, I don't want AI to copy my voice. All right, so I, I mean, a few a few things here right. is that one, the answering machine died for a reason. All right, because <laughs> it, it's crap. I mean, voicemail. Who uses voicemail? Ooh. Nobody like, uses let me voicemail. Think. When was the last time I tried to call someone, they didn't answer, and I left them a voicemail? Never. Maybe my mom. Exactly. Because my mom still leaves me voicemails when she comes. She'll be like, hi, honey. I just wanted to tell you, blah, blah, blah. And I'll call her back in one minute. She's like, did you listen to my voicemail? And I'm like, no, I just called you back. Exactly. Like, so, yeah. So, those things died out for a reason. Number two thing, everybody hates robocalls. Oh, my God. If I call anybody, and they're like... Press one for I hate those calls. The worst. Also, I don't want to talk to a real person, so I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I don't know. I don't so, know. I don't know if you noticed. There's another point, but please continue. Uh, the, uh, you just responded. That, that was really it. I, we're just going to tangent. Please continue. So, like, the other day, I mean, did you get a billion text messages and calls from the city about the potential storm coming through? No, I think I got one. I got, I got a phone call in English. Okay. A phone call in Spanish. You, another phone call in English. You answered them? Another, no, they left voicemails. Uh-oh. Another phone call in Spanish. A text message in English. A text message in Spanish. And then later, another text message in English. Another one in Spanish. And it was it was like the, I would say, not even the 10th worst storm I've seen since I've lived here. I'm like, what the hell were they trying to do? Like, they hyped me all up. Like, I thought Apocalypse was coming through. <laughs> Hail and tornadoes and death and Jesus. The death and, and Jesus are all coming at the same time. Yeah. And it barely and even, And the like, Easter Bunny. Barely even shook the goddamn windows. I know. There wasn't much of a storm. Um, yeah, I don't know, John. I, I, I didn't set up. I, I turned my... I haven't had a voicemail set up since probably my second smartphone. Oh, you just don't even set it up. No, because oh, yeah. one, once I found out that people that wanted money and uh, crazy ex-girlfriends and uh, current girlfriends. Oh, wait, hold on a second. What kind of crazy ex-girlfriend messages you got? Uh, I probably got one and I learned my lesson. Have I don't, you ever left a, a like a nasty message on somebody's voice back when you were like not. younger and like, God damn it, I just wanted to date you and you didn't want to. Like when you were young and like didn't know any better. Uh, no, Jonas. Um, see, well, you know, like you, you feel like you become dead inside over time. I've been pretty dead inside since the beginning. So no, I was never that emotional. I remember having some emotion and feeling like, you know, like I've been cheated on before. And I remember like that hurt. And then I was just like, oh, okay. I see how it is. You know? Yeah. I mean, I've been dead inside <laughs> I moved a long time on. too. Yeah. I, I moved on. No, have I ever done that? I feel like most people have. I mean. I- Let's see. I, I, I'm not going to sit up here in front like I've never like just been pissed off and yelled at somebody over the phone or something like that, which yeah. I, I feel is kind of soft, too. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm I not did, one for... I remember, I remember two, there's two things I remember. Yeah. One time, there was this girl that I, I met this girl at a friend's, like, party, mm-hmm. and we were chatting or whatever, and, like, we were supposed to hang out. She was very flaky, and we were in her 20s. Like, that's what people are. They're super flaky. And I remember at one point, she was, like, very much about herself. And I remember, I don't remember what I said, but I sent, I sent her a message at some point and said, you need to get the F over yourself or something. You know, something kind of like that. <laughs> like... <laughs> And uh, and that that was one time I said that. And the only other time I remember was like I went out. 
I went on a date with this girl. And we went out to eat, and mm-hmm. we were supposed to go to a movie. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. after dinner, instead of just hanging out until the movie, we were like, "Hey, let's just go do some do our own thing and then go meet for the movie later." <laughs> and I was yeah. like, and then of course she never called, right? And I was just like, I remember being like. Hey, I thought we were supposed to go to a movie or something stupid. Was like, she freak that so dirty? Yeah, she was like, hey, yeah, because we were like, we were supposed to go to a movie, and, she, I, and like we were like, I mean, it should have been a sign, like when you didn't just hang out for that hour until the movie started. Yeah, you were like, yeah, let's yeah. get back together in an hour, and then yeah. she just never like called, right? Yeah. Obviously, wasn't interested. It wasn't wow. very fun anyway. And I remember just being like. Hey, I thought we were gonna go a movie. What uh, happened? Yeah, like, just like an ignorant. I was like twenty four or something. You know, yo. something stupid. You know what I mean? Um, those are <sighs> the only two times I really can remember that I like let and and it wasn't even like it was anything nasty. It wasn't like I left like a three minute voicemail going off. Yeah, I mean, I can understand being angry because that's that's some dirtbag ish to do. But like, you twenty years old. Funny so. story. I, uh, about about a year later, I worked at a rent to own place. She came in with her mom, and like. I could tell she recognized she could recognize uh-huh. me, but I didn't say anything to her. She walked in, her eyes got about as big as a goddamn tennis ball. Recognized her own dirtbag behavior, didn't apologize. Huh? Oh, f- she didn't even pretend like she knew. Who- she didn't even act like she knew who I was. That was, anyways. Yeah. But anyways, go ahead. I don't know, man. As I as I get to a certain point, you know, I'm I'm thinking about like if anybody that I have wrong, and I feel like there's some people that I have. I feel like you know I need to go ahead and square it up with them. Let them know I was wrong. I was young because you know when you are young, you do you do some ignorant stuff like that. I've had friends. I have one friend in particular who was notorious for leaving those losing uh, their goddamn mind, and like just being ignorant on a voicemail. A hundred percent. I remember there was one occasion where my my last girlfriend, I she had a a best friend who was an attractive attractive woman, a very attractive. Yeah, probably. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it, but. <laughs> I was gonna say more attractive than my anyway. Um <laughs> so I, I had a friend and I was like, hey, I happen to have my girlfriend happens to have this very attractive friend. Maybe I could hook you up with her. I feel like, you know, I'd be doing Yeah, you go on a date or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she was cool. She uh, you know, she lived at home with her parents, so low expectations, right? Right, was, right, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, was, when you're in your twenties, everything's really low expectation, but yeah. it doesn't feel like that. So uh, hey, whatever. So I was so I I uh I gave her I gave him her number and she calls but she was at she calls he calls her but she's at our house with us we're drinking or whatever and he proceeds at the end of the night called around 11 o'clock he left a message after like maybe two calls I think he called Wait, twice Wait so you're hanging you your girlfriend and her are hanging out Yeah he calls her once of- she doesn't answer cuz she's with you Yeah we're out drinking he calls her a couple times? Yeah, he called her like twice. Oh, that's not good. And then like he and called he left her, her a voicemail. He called her once, didn't do anything, called her again like an hour later at like around eleven o'clock, left a voicemail. The ish was so wild. He was like, you F and B word and just like um, Like cause she didn't answer his phone call? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, he, you know, what, and then man? you were like, oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. regret giving my friend. Your I phone called him. Around. I was like, I was like, yo, what the hell was that, man? I was like, that's that person is like a family over here, man. I was like, yeah, Why like we were doing? hanging out drinking. She was busy, yo. Like he was like, I'm just tired of these effing bitches. <laughs> wow. That's like some incel behavior, dude. Yeah. He was big into like uh, Tommy Sotomayor. I don't know if you've ever I heard of no him. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Is uh, that the guy from uh, Karate Kid? No. Oh. He was, uh, I think I might have even pronounced his name wrong. Um, uh, but is that worked, like uh, Andrew Tate in like 1999? He was one of the early adopters of, of like the red pill culture and uh, the whole incel movement, I guess. I shouldn't say incel movement. I should say the uh, manosphere movement. Oh, gotcha. But uh, yeah, it was. So me, I've never been on that. I can't understand getting that mad. I just keep it moving. Yeah. Keep I mean, moving. when I was young, like when I was younger, I would get more upset, but I wasn't the leave the voicemail guy. Like no. I wasn't the passive aggressive. Like, like it's like. If somebody, if I message someone and they don't message back, and then I message them again and they don't message back, I'm not going to be like, oh, I guess you're busy then. Or like, what the hell? Like, all that does is push that person farther away from you. Facts. 
And uh, speaking of uh, red pill culture, I saw a picture online that, like, I guess Andrew Tate posted something online being like, haven't seen myself with a full head of hair in so long. And it's, it's like he's, like, balding. And, like, everyone was making fun of it because he said he called it a full head of hair. But it was, like, it was super thin because he always shaves his head. And they were, like, making fun of him about it. So that was funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We out.